I know that this is going to sound a little bit crazy because it's probably the exact opposite that you've heard everyone else say, but you don't need an actuarial internship in order to get an actuarial job. That means it's okay if you have a low GPA so you couldn't get an actuarial internship. It means it's okay if you've already graduated. It means if you've already applied to tons of actuarial internships this hiring season and you didn't get one, that's okay. It means if for whatever reason you just don't think you're going to get an actuarial internship, it's okay. I know it can feel like your future is completely doomed if you don't get one, but in today's video, I'm going to show you how you can perfectly replace an actuarial internship on your resume. I'm Bria, associate of the Society of Actuaries and leader of the Actuary Accelerator community. Now, when an employer sees that a job applicant has actuarial internship experience, it's not the actuarial internship that they really care about. What they care about are the skills and the qualifications that are naturally gained while they're in an actuarial internship. Now, I think this is a really important part that you need to understand, so I'm going to repeat it. They don't care about the actuarial internship. What they really care about are the skills and the qualifications that are gained while you're in an actuarial internship. So that's things like Microsoft Excel, maybe a programming language. They're going to want to see real projects that you've done on the job. They want to see that you have some corporate environment experience. They want to see your communication skills and your problem solving skills. They want to see that you have some actuarial terminology and concept back background, maybe some data analysis experience. All of these things are skills that you will naturally gain in an internship, but the thing is that you don't need an actuarial internship in order to gain these skills and qualifications. You can gain all of those skills and qualifications outside of an actuarial internship, and honestly, in some ways, that's the better option. Because not only are you going to be able to have a wider range of skills, for example, you can learn things from the life insurance side, the health insurance side, the property and casualty insurance side. So you're going to be able to have a background in actuarial work that is far beyond what you'd probably be able to gain in one specific actuarial internship position. Another great thing about learning all of this outside of the actuarial field, you don't automatically get exposed to how actuarial work is done. So that means you're going to be able to bring in new perspectives from other fields and bring them into the actuarial field. And that's something that not everyone can say when they only have experience in an actuarial internship. You're not going to be able to provide that unique perspective that you could provide if you had learned all of this outside of the actuarial field. For example, we had a member of the AAC recently get a job helping actuaries learn Python. Now, Python is becoming more and more popular in the actuarial field. It's a programming language. He didn't gain his Python experience in an actuarial position. He learned it through different sources and he brought that into the actuarial world and learned how it could be applied in an actuarial world. So the other thing about this is that you get to skip the competitiveness. You don't have to worry about whether your GPA is high enough. You don't have to worry about whether you're still in school or not. This is something that anyone could do no matter what their situations are. You can also do it from anywhere in the world, which you can't really say about an actuarial internship. So now you're probably wondering, how do you gain all of this experience and knowledge outside of an internship? Well, I'll tell you the exact same thing that I'd tell anyone in the AAC. Courses and a stepping stone job. Courses will teach you all the fundamental knowledge you need to know, like Excel, the actuarial terminology, maybe some communication skills. And the stepping stone position will help you gain all of that real world relevant experience that actuarial employers are going to value. And when you combine or mesh both of those things together, you're essentially going to have all the same skills and qualifications that someone would have after an actuarial internship. But you can do that all without the internship. We've actually had members of the AAC do this tons of times, and we've shared those experiences with you. So last week, Dean, who was in this interview, he showed us how he got an actuarial job by taking courses and a stepping stone position. And then there was Emma from a few weeks ago in this video who did the same thing, took courses in the AAC, got a stepping stone position in data analysis, and then went on to get her first actuarial job. No internship for either of them. Okay, now there's one more thing you need to know, but before we get into that, would you please give this video a thumbs up so that it can spread to more aspiring actuaries? I would appreciate that so, so so, 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 so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, now let's talk about actuarial resumes. Someone that has had an actuarial internship can just put actuarial intern on their resume and that's automatically going to pique the attention of any actuarial employer. But when you don't have an actuarial internship, you have to go a bit beyond that. You have to do a bit extra in order to really prove to employers that you have all the same skills and qualifications that you would have gained in an actuarial internship. So that means that your resume has 
to be written in a way that really speaks to each of these individual qualifications that I talked about earlier. And honestly, your resume is a really big part of this. It can make or break your career. You've probably heard me say that before. In the past, I've helped candidates that had great experience but were not able to get an actuarial job and it all came down to their resume. For example, I worked with a rocket engineer. Yes, a rocket engineer wanted to get into the actuarial field and he had some amazing experience. But the thing is that when he had all this rocket experience on his resume, actuarial employers really didn't understand what he was doing because they weren't familiar with what rocket engineers do. So once we aligned his resume, resume more with what actuarial employers are going to care about, like data analysis, scenario testing, and those sorts of things really needed to be displayed on his resume so that employers understood. Once he did that, he got more interest. He actually ended up getting a stepping stone position in underwriting and then later went on to an actuarial assistant position. So that really goes to show how important your resume is. You need to break down these things so that employers clearly understand how you have all the same skills and qualifications that someone would have from an actuarial internship. Now, if you are planning to go get a stepping stone position, you have to go watch this video first because it is going to show you the number one thing that you need to be paying attention to while you are in your stepping stone position that is going to help you impress actuarial employers later on. That is all for today. I will see you in the next video. Bye for now.